We'll just uh, wait for a few minutes uh, just to allow other participants to join in and settle down and then we'll get started. However, we'll use this uh, uh, time to understand each other and also to understand how you can uh, uh, participate in this webinar in an effective manner or how can you get the maximum benefit from this webinar. So uh, let me start with uh, introducing myself. Just give me a couple of seconds. Yeah. All right. So uh, my name is Adnan. I'm director of SME e-commerce growth at Globalinger. And my functional or my focus area at Globalinger is digital commerce. In uh, addition to that, I actively work on sharing uh, knowledge or information with business owners like you on how you can use digital or uh, technology to grow your business. Because in today's day and age, you'll uh, also agree that availability of technology is no longer a challenge, but understanding or knowing how to use that technology is the challenge. And that's where I try to contribute as much as possible. So far, I've conducted more than 450 such training sessions and webinars. In fact, I do a training workshop almost every day. And I had the wonderful opportunity of uh, connecting, interacting, and uh, sharing my knowledge with about 12,000 businesses in various countries. So that was a quick uh, introduction about myself. Now coming to uh, uh, this webinar, uh, today's is a special webinar where uh, in, I will try to share with you a few tools and again, free tools which you can use to grow your business uh, effectively digitally. Obviously, the focus will be digital because that's an interest area for me. Uh, but more importantly, what has been a realization that there are so many tools available out there which can help you uh, solve all the challenges or almost every challenge that you will face in growing your business digitally. But because you are not aware about those tools, you are not leveraging them, you are not using them. And in today's uh, presentation or in today's webinar, what we'll do is we'll go through uh, the entire journey and I will share with you various tools. We will also provide the links of all those tools. So don't worry, you will get a copy of the presentation that I'll be using in today's session along with uh, all the hyperlinks, etc. So you'll uh, get all the resources that I am going to share in uh, today's session, right? So don't worry on that and you'll all get the recording of today's session as well. So that... Uh, if uh, you are embarking on that journey or if you have already embarked on that journey, you are already trying uh, and putting in effort to grow your business digitally, then you can understand how these tools can help uh, you do the job uh, much easily and, and also in a much better way. All right, so uh, just one more minute and then we'll get started. Now, uh, let's also understand uh, how you can participate in, in this webinar. This is not a meeting format. You must have already guessed that this is a webinar format. So uh, this is where uh, obviously we don't have that uh, uh, facility of uh, connecting or chatting in person with each other. However, we will still do that. How will we do that? So we will use the chat feature. So down below, you can see there's an option which says uh, chat. So we'll use that. So uh, we'll keep it interactive. Uh, I'll seek your suggestions. I'll seek your inputs. Uh, and uh, you can share your inputs or suggestions using the chat, right? So down below, there's a chat. Now, obviously, you'll have questions. You'll have uh, queries or uh, it is not necessary. Whatever I am saying to you is absolutely clear to you, right? So it is not necessary. So you can ask your question. I always welcome that you should ask your question. How should you ask your question? So you should put your questions in Q&A. So I'm joining to that uh, chat down below. If you see, there is an option which says uh, Q&A. You should use that option to share your question or ask your question. All right. So for questions, we'll use Q&A. And for our interaction, we'll use chat. And you can also use uh, chat to network with other business owners who are also joining us here today. All right. So this is where we will get started. Uh, let me quickly uh, also open the chat so that I can place the window in uh, another monitor and I have uh, the visibility on that. So if you find me looking to the side, that's where I'm just looking at the monitor. So uh, I'll say hi to everyone on the chat. 
All right, so hi everyone and welcome. And this is where we are getting started with uh, today's uh, webinar. So in next few seconds, you'll start uh, seeing my screen and we will uh, begin or get started with uh, today's uh, discussion. All right, so I've started uh, sharing my screen. I'll uh, uh, request if uh, anyone from the participants, anyone from the audience can confirm if you all can see my screen. So I'm, yes, uh, thanks, Nishant, uh, Ashwini Raj. So there, there are so many members. Uh, so thank you, everyone, who has uh, confirmed that you can see my screen. So uh, today's webinar is about free tools to boost uh, customer engagement and conversion on your website. Now, uh, while I was preparing for this webinar, I realized that uh, we should start from the start, right? Because uh, customer engagement and conversion is something that is towards the later end of the entire digital business growth journey. Uh, and we should start with the basics. So what I've done is in terms of content that I'm going to share with you or in terms of information that I'm going to share with you, we'll start with basic because unless your fundamental is... Uh, correct, right? Unless your foundation is uh, uh, correct, uh, you'll not have uh, uh, customer engagement or uh, uh, conversions, right? So what I'm trying to say without confusing you is that uh, unless you have uh, the right information on your website, if you're not displaying it, if you're not presenting it nicely, no matter uh, what tools you are using to boost the conversion, you'll not get good conversions, right? You'll agree to that, right? So that's where uh, we'll start with very basics and then we'll go. So we'll do the entire journey, right? So start to the end. That's what we'll do. All right, so this is uh, where let's begin. So to start with, I'll share a disclaimer uh, that in this webinar, there are certain tools that we will be sharing. And obviously these uh, tools are based on our experience. We also use uh, uh, these tools ourselves and uh, they are based on our experience and understanding. And it is absolutely not, not uh, necessary that there are no better tools available. Certainly there can be better tools available, but this is based on our uh, knowledge and understanding what we are sharing with you today. So I just thought of clarifying that. And it, this webinar is also not sponsored by any of the tools. All right, so let's start. So uh, I've divided today's discussion or uh, today's uh, webinar into four broad groups. So first is creating, right? So you are creating, you're building your digital presence and that's the crucial, that's the foundation. If you don't have your foundation right, right, no matter how much effort you are putting on the top, you will not be able to reap the right results, right? So you have to start uh, with the foundation, right? So we'll start with creating and then we'll move on to optimizing. So how uh, you have created something and then you have to optimize it, you have to uh, ensure that it is uh, working properly. So we'll uh, understand what are the tools that you can use to ensure that it is working properly. And then we'll uh, uh, understand about the tools which you can use for engaging with uh, the customers. Uh, and lastly, we'll look at few marketing tools as well. I'll not be going very deep, otherwise it may become very confusing for certain members, especially the ones who are not very tech savvy. So it may become very confusing for them. So that's where uh, uh, we will be sharing few suggestions and few tools which are relatively easy to use, right? So this these are not uh, very advanced level tools. You need specialized knowledge or certification to use them. Nothing like that I'll be sharing in today's webinar. All right, so we'll start with uh, the first uh, second segment in uh, today's uh, discussion and that is creating. So let's understand what is creating. So when you are uh, wanting to create your digital presence and this is where I'm referring to the entire digital presence. I'm not referring to just uh, the website. Website is part of your digital presence and I've deliberately kept this slide because I wanted uh, uh, the participants to understand that when you are working on uh, growing your uh, business digitally, you have to focus on the entire spectrum. You have to focus on your entire digital presence or in simple words, uh, you have to optimize, you have to make better your entire digital presence. Just working on the website may not fix the entire thing, right? So what all is included in the digital presence? So 
this is where it comprises of your uh, digital catalog, which is your business website. It comprises of your profiles, uh, which you have on networking and social media platforms. It comprises of uh, Google My Business. Now, how many of you have Google My Business listing? You can chat yes in the chat. So how many of you have uh, Google My Business? Uh, so there are a few members who are chatting. Wonderful. Now, uh, the others who don't have, uh, please do create. And then uh, your presence on discovery platforms. So for example, we have a bunch of discovery platforms for like uh, Indian business portal. So your presence, optimizing that presence on uh, those platforms as well. Right. So that comprises of your entire digital presence now again this is not very extensive certain people also include your uh, uh, affiliate networks etc so this is where broadly uh, this is your digital presence now what you have to do is you have to optimize it now let's understand what are the tools which you can use to optimize this all right so that's where uh, required requirements for creating digital presence and we'll start with business related information so what is business related information this is your business profile about us vision mission our story etc now you might be thinking like this is something that we can create ourselves certainly you can do that but a lot of uh, business owners i have personally interacted with they had this uh, kind of uh, challenge or uh, they have this uh, fear that uh, our language is not that great our proficiency in english is not that great even if we are writing uh, it not it may not be very good and uh, uh, there's no content writer available if content writer is available they are too expensive etc etc so all those challenges were there now you have to optimize it so what are the tools that you can use to optimize it so that's where we have uh, Keywords Everywhere. Now, Keywords Everywhere is basically a Chrome plugin. And don't worry, I will also show you all these tools, which uh, like I'll open them on a browser and I'll show you. So Keywords Everywhere is there. Then you have ChatGPT, which I don't think needs introduction. Then we have a tool which is called SEO Content Analysis. This is a very interesting and useful tool because we are creating content. Now you are creating content uh, yourself. You are writing. So for example, content also sometimes is something people are not able to relate to. So I'll try to avoid using that. So for example, you have uh, written a profile of your business. You have uh, written it in a Word document and you have written it yourself or you have used chat GPT type of AI tools to create it. Now, how relevant it is from search engine optimization perspective? You don't know. So that's where you can use this SEO content analysis tool and it will help you understand how good or how bad it is, right? So that is also a very interesting tool. Then you have Quellbot. Quellbot is a, basically a re-paraphrasing tool. Now this becomes uh, very easy, for example, uh, very useful. Uh, so you have created some content or you have uh, uh, taken it from some place or you have created using AI tool. Now that content is uh, getting flagged as plagiarized content. It is uh, getting flagged as uh, you have copied, you have stolen the content from somewhere. Now, how do you solve for that challenge? So you can use Quellbot, it uh, it will re-paraphrase it and that's where it solves that challenge, all right? So that is business-related content that you are creating. So relatively easy thing, but these are the tools which you can use to create that content. Now you have product-related content. What does product-related content mean? So your product titles, descriptions, specifications consist of your product-related content. Now, what are the tools that you can use to create uh, this product-related content? Uh, Google Keyword Planner. This is used for keyword planning, doing the research. What are the relevant keywords for your business? Then you have keywords everywhere, again, the Chrome plugin. And you have uh, ChatGPT and SEO content analysis tool to, again, gauge the effectiveness or quality of the content that you have created using the AI tool from search engine optimization perspective. Then you have search related. So search related is your SEO related on-page optimization related content that you have to add. That's where, again, you have to do keyword research. You have to do, uh, you have to add meta information, which consists of meta title, keywords, uh, and image alt text. So that's where there are a bunch of tools that you can use. Uh, uh, Google Keyword Planner is there, keywords everywhere, and ChatGPT can be used for this. Now you have visuals. 
visual is again a significant challenge and many of you will agree uh, especially if you are not someone who's producing uh, some unique items or uh, you are dealing in a generic category so that's where sometimes visuals or if you are someone who is into trading and there's a very broad spectrum of products uh, that you deal in so that's where uh, visuals again become challenged so how do you solve for uh, getting those visuals right so that's where uh, visuals consist of your logo product visuals uh, product images banners illustrations etc so for those uh, there are tools like microsoft designer canva adobe express pixel cut pixel cut is an interesting tool so many times uh, a unique challenge that we face is that the we have an image so the image is there but the image is too small so if we try to use it on our website or on uh, any social media marketing it will not look nice uh, it will pixel it because it is small can we make it bigger yes there's a tool and that is the pixel cut tool i've included in the list and then i have included uh, links of two uh, open uh, or free image platform so these are the platforms where you can go and you can to take those images and those are uh, uh, images where you don't have to buy the licenses these are uh, you can use them commercially right so free images now we have uh, heard the names of uh, certain tools from me now let's me show you these tools so i'll quickly switch my tab and we will quickly go to the browser and that's where i'm starting with the uh, keywords everywhere now keywords everywhere itself is not a tool it is a plugin that you use along with chat gpt so it is a chrome plugin or it is also available in firefox in case you are using firefox so you can install it on your browser right so uh, it is currently installed on my chrome browser so you have to install it on your browser and then when you open chat gpt that's where you'll see there is this templates option which is available now you can use this templates option for creating the content so for example let me show you now you want to create a product content so you can select seo e-commerce seo and product description generator select the language tone and writing style write a brief description of the product and it will create everything for you, right? So that is uh, uh, there. Now, if you want to do keyword research, you can do keyword research also using the keyword strategy or long tail keyword or related keywords. Anything you want to search, you can do that. So that is uh, where keywords everywhere coming along with ChatGPT makes it easy for you to write those prompts and make ChatGPT do the correct action easily otherwise uh, writing these prompts is a effort in itself right so that's how you will be able to use it effectively uh, then you have this content analysis tool right so here how do you have to use this tool this is where uh, you can see it is entirely blank blank how do you use it so this is where you have to copy paste the content so for example you created the content using chat gpt so you have to copy paste it here and you have to enter the search words what is the relevant search word or what is the primary search word you can include few of them here and then it will evaluate and it will let you know how good or bad is the content from that perspective if it is okay you can use it if it is not okay you can go back and regenerate it right so this is where like it is not like uh, you're using whatever AI tool or chat GPT has created you're also validating it and ensuring that it is good for your website and it will help in the search engine optimization and ensuring the discoverability of your website or your profile on uh, various platforms right so that is uh, this uh, tool then you have uh, quellbot which is a uh, uh, re-paraphrasing tool so you can just copy paste the content here click on re-paraphrase and it will re-paraphrase the content it is typically used to uh, prevent the content or uh, the text that you have generated from getting uh, detected as uh, plagiarized content you have copied it from somewhere or ai created content as well then we have uh, keywords uh, which is a uh, google's tool it is part of google ads account so you'll have to sign up and create a google ad account and then you can use the keywords tool so for example discover new keywords or search volume so uh search volume and forecast we want to discover new keywords mm -hmm. now for example we want to search for something like running shoes and we can change the location as well so it is currently india if you want to do worldwide we can remove it or if you want to do united states so we can change 
like this we can change also click on save get results now it will uh, tell you the search volume uh, or search keywords and their corresponding volume now you can sort them by uh, approximate monthly searches so you can see running shoes is roughly around 1 million searches uh, in us hoka shoes uh, happens to be a popular uh, on cloud shoes uh, books shoes uh, and there are there are a bunch of uh, nike is also there right so you can review these and you can identify which are the words which are or phrases or terms which are getting the most search and then you can consider including them on into your content then we have visual tools and this is a very powerful tool and very useful tool as well so it can be used for multiple things image generator if you want to generate an image uh, you can use that let me show you very quickly so for example, you are someone who's dealing in agri product and uh, you want to generate an image for, let's say, basmati rice. So uh, we'll just write a brief prompt to it. So raw raw Indian basmati rice in a bowl. We'll click on generate and it will take few seconds now in in the interim while it is generating let me take you back so this is one thing that you can do you can generate images but uh, the important point that you should keep in mind is that it can only generate images for generic things or uh, like fruits and vegetables uh, those kind of things it can generate images so specific things it will not be able to generate images all right, so that is one thing that it can uh, do. The Another interesting thing that you can use it for is creating visuals. So if you want to create a social media post, if you want to create uh, uh, a post for uh, a banner for your website, you can do all that using the design creator. So let's see if it has created the images here. You can see these are visuals which it has created. So these are nice looking visuals, almost uh, looking like professionally photo shoot visuals. So you can decide which one you would want to use. And if you write a much better prompt, I've just written something. If you write a much better prompt, it will give you much better images as well. So this is one use. The other use, as I was mentioning to you, is related to creating uh, uh, visuals for your social media post or for your banners, etc. on your website. All that can also be done. Uh, using this uh, so for example create uh, a website banner uh, featuring a male model wearing a blue color shirt right so We'll click on generate now if you want to use your own visuals you have product photograph you would want to use uh, with that so that's where you can uh, use add image and you can use your own visuals as well so we'll just click on uh, generate and i'll just quickly show you how it can also help you in creating banners because that also sometimes becomes a, a challenge for many businesses if you are create wanting to create the website but uh, uh, the graphic designer is not available for some reason or they are charging uh, too much and you want to save on that. So this is the tool which you can use. It is a free tool. And the results you'll see are, the quality is quite nice now. You can see, right? So there are so many options. So for example, we decided to use this one and we can click on customize uh, design. And uh, that's where it will again uh, give you more suggestions. So here you can click on ideas. Here you have the ideas option. So you can click on that. And here you can see it is giving you more ideas. So for example, you are liking this one, not liking this one, or you're liking this one. You can change that. You can resize it, add your logo, content, whatever you want. You can do that. So this is, again, a very useful uh, AI tool. Uh, Canva is something which has been there for years and still continues to be very relevant. Canva also has its own AI, but it has a limitation that the designer of Microsoft does not have a limitation. You can use it as many times. It gives you 50 credits and then you have to upgrade to their pro plan to use it. But other than uh, the AI part, it is it still continues to be a very, very powerful tool which you can use for all your design related requirements, your social media posts, etc. Then you have Adobe Express. There's also a very powerful uh, editing tool which is available. 
absolutely free to use. Uh, it is there on my device also. It is currently installed. You can also consider using. Then you have Pixel. So Pixel is a sort of a free library which is available and you don't have to even give uh, credit to the person, right? So the license clearly says that you can use it as uh, you want. So this is where you'll get visuals, you'll get uh, uh, videos uh, as well as uh, pictures, portrait, landscape, you can search and use them. And lastly, you have Unsplash. Similarly, it is also another source from where you can source uh, visuals for your website, for your social media posts, your, your email campaigns, etc. So uh, these were a few tools we, which I wanted to share with you. Uh, so these were the creating tools or creation tools. So we'll go back to the presentation. So, so far, uh, uh, what we have done, if we circle back, so, so far, what uh, we have learned is uh, if you use these tools, so just imagine that uh, you are now creating your website and you have to create all this content. Now you know that using these tools, you'll be able to do it very easily, right? So if uh, earlier it would have taken you a week, now you can do it in a matter of day. You can easily create everything and visuals especially uh, used to be a challenge. That's where you were kind of dependent on the creativity of the, the graphic designer also. So it was not just the availability of graphic designer. The graphic designer was not very creative. Again, you'll not have very good visuals on your website, but now that is no longer a challenge, right? So you can use uh, these tools and you can easily create good looking, professional looking graphics, uh, banners, social media posts, etc. in matter of minutes or seconds, right? So that's where all these tools are available, uh, which you can use and this uh, by using these tools, right? So just uh, if you're visualizing that uh, you're creating your website, you're creating your digital presence and uh, you have these tools available. Now, whether it is your uh, profile on any platform, let's say Global Inker or your website or your Google My Listing, Everywhere you have good quality content and you have good quality visuals, what will that lead to? That will lead to better visibility, better conversions, better engagements as well. All right. Because it will not just look beautiful. It will be relevant, good quality and discoverable as well. All right. So that was uh, the first part of our discussion that is creating a digital presence. Now, coming to the second part, that's where we'll understand few tools which you can use to optimize this, right? So you have built something. Now, how good it is, you have to review it as well. So let's understand optimizing your digital candle. How do you optimize it? One is performance. The first uh, area where you have to focus on is the performance of your digital catalog, right? That is crucial because if uh, uh, you're uh, getting the customers through digital marketing campaigns or if you're getting customers uh, organically, they are all coming at one place and that one place happens to be what? Your website, your digital catalog. Now, if it is not performing well, if it is... Uh, performing slowly, the pages are not opening properly, they are glitchy, etc. You will not get the desired result, right? So obviously, it will be counteractive. That's where the first area where you have to focus on is the performance of your digital catalog. And here are two tools which you can use. PHP inside is a Google tool which you can easily use. Similar tool is GD Matrix. So you can use either of the tool. So once you have ensured that your digital catalog, your website is performing absolutely fine, there is no issues whatsoever, then you can move on to the next aspect of optimizing the performance. And what is that? That is related to SEO. While you are creating your content, you have already ensured that your content is optimized, but there may be certain other issues also. Your pages are not getting indexed, et cetera, et cetera. So for that, there are tools which uh, you can use. One is Google Search Console, which is a Google tool. Very powerful, very useful tool, free tool. You can use it. Then you have SEO Optimer. Uh, it has a very wide variety of tools. You'll see uh, it has a lot of tools which you can use. And then you have SME Rush. It will audit your website. It will, in the free plan, it will crawl 100 uh, pages of your website. And then it will give you a report. What are the issues? And then you can work on fixing them. So this is where you are getting into the technical aspects of uh, the search engine optimization. Again, ensuring what? 
all this effort that you are putting in what result will you get it it will improve the discoverability of your website right so people on the internet will be able to discover you or your business right so that is uh, the second thing that you have to do to optimize your performance of your digital catalog and the third one is engagement now you have uh, ensured that your website's uh, performance is okay right so it's opening properly the speed is nice and then engine is also all okay there are no errors there are all the links every, everything all the pages are indexed now people are coming to your website now how are they interacting with the websites if whether your pages are opening properly whether your navigation is opening properly are there any issues on mobile devices or certain mobile devices you have to also ensure that right so just building the website is not the end of the story you have to also work further on to that so that you ensure that everything is working fine now to, for the engagement analysis you can use google analytics which is a google tool it helps you understand what type of traffic is coming and it also has uh, this uh, uh, funnel visualization it helps you understand what are the bottlenecks right so if 100 people came to your website and only 10 placed order so what happened to the 90 right so you have to find an answer to that as well now these tools will help you find an answer to that so you have google analytics which will help you understand which pages they are going how much time they are spending what is your bounce rate etc so all that information is available in google, google analytics which you can use now if you want to uh, see it visually right so if you want to have a camera on your website and it can help you see how your customer is going from page to page to the checkout or, or send you an inquiry right so how they are going so that's where you can use microsoft clarity then you have hotjar which is similar but uh, it gives you a heat map of where people are clicking now if you want to click them at certain places on your website whether that click is happening or not where uh, they are clicking what they are seeing so it gives you that uh, heat map now it also points uh, out so for example uh sometime back uh we were just guiding one of our client now uh using hotjar what we uh, noticed was on their website there was a section on the home page itself now uh, that section didn't had any link so it was not taking people anywhere and a lot of people were coming and clicking there so through hotjar we were able to analyze and understand that this is an area where a lot of people are clicking so they have an expectation that it should take them somewhere now because there was no link or they were they were not getting redirected that's where you were losing that engagement right so you click on it and nothing happens you tend to start feeling that uh, there's something wrong with the website or uh, there's not uh, a very well made website you start getting negative feelings about that organization as well right so uh, that's where you are able to fix that engagement with the Hotjar as well. So Hotjar is also again, a free tool which you can consider using. All right, so now let's uh, switch the tab and we'll go to uh, see the optimization tool. So let's see the optimization tool. So these are the optimization tool. This is the page speed. Uh, using this tool is very simple. You have to just copy paste the url or the link of your website click on analyze and it will analyze your uh, uh, website and it'll, it will give you a report uh, how it is performing on uh, the mobile how it is performing on uh, the desktop and what are the areas where you have to fix gd matrix works on the same line copy paste the url click on test your site and it will evaluate your site and it will give you the findings then we have uh, Search Console. So Search Console is where you have to firstly link it with your website. So you can have to uh, put a prefix or you have to put your domain and then click on continue. It will give you a, its a code which you have to input on uh, the seller panel or control panel of your website. And it will get linked. So once it is linked, it will give you traffic insights. It will uh, tell you how many pages are indexed, which pages are not indexed, where 404 errors are there. Or if there are pages where 404 errors are there, you can remove them also. Right? So in terms of uh, search engine optimizations with Google, this is uh, the most important tool that you should use. Then you have STO Optimer. So this is where you'll see there are a lot of tools available. So Meta Generator, a robotics generator keyword generator these are not relevant uh, for you but uh, if you want to understand uh, title tag checker or uh, you want to uh, 
optimize the meta descriptions etc you can do that so all the, the, there is a very long list of uh, tools which are available but if you want to get your website audited it is simple you have to just copy paste the website url here click on quick audit and it will audit you the your website and it will share the finding then we have SME Rush. This is also a very popular tool for uh, evaluating website and understanding the, uh, the issues related to SEO. Again, uh, using this website is very simple. You have to copy paste your domain and click on start now and it will uh, review your website and it will share your finding. The challenge with the SEO or uh, or I'll not say it as a challenge. It is uh, that in the free plan, it will only review 100 pages of your website. So if you have more than 100 pages, if you have a very large catalog, then it may not uh, review everything. You'll have to upgrade to their pro plan, but uh, you also have uh, Search Console that can help you uh, with uh, understanding uh, the issues with uh, your website. Then we have uh, Google Analytics. Uh, so Google Analytics, as I mentioned, is a tool which is uh, traditionally being used to understand the traffic which is coming to the website and its behavior as well. So it is not like uh, how many people came to the website and other than that, nothing. So their behavior, which page, page did they go, how much time did they spend, all that is available, right? Uh, the source from where did they come? So all that is available there. Geographic location, country of origin, all that is available, which you can understand. And you'll be able to understand what are the bottlenecks uh, that are preventing or harming you or preventing you from getting good conversions and you can work on fixing them. Then you have uh, Microsoft Clarity. Again, it is a free tool and it is like a camera that you're putting on your website. So it helps you understand how your customers are actually engaging right so you have uh, conceived uh, a customer journey to happen in a certain way but your customers may be interacting it with, totally differently how do you know unless you have this kind of visualization tool there are other visualization tools also available not visualization the this type of review tools also available like lucky orange but they are paid this is free and this is very very easy to install uh, so you have to just link a google tag manager with uh, your website and then this gets linked with Google Tag Manager and you have uh, day by day or customer by customer reports. So with each customer, all you have to do is to spend some time and you'll be able to see how actually your customers are behaving with the website. Where are they clicking? How the pages are loading? How the visuals are loading? How the animation is happening? All that as your customer is looking, you'll be able to see that. And so that is uh, Microsoft Clarity, again, a very useful tool. Then you have Hotjar on the similar line, but it gives you a heat map uh, where people are clicking, right? So where the most clicks are happening. So you'll be able to see that heat map and you will also be able to understand uh, uh, where the clicks are happening and uh, if they are getting redirected to the correct place. So it also has the uh, video recording as such of customer movement available on the Hotjar along with the heat map so that helps you understand uh, where the majority clicks are happening and how the customers are engaging with your website where they are going how those pages are loading where uh, again on those pages where they are clicking so you'll get that understanding with hot jar right so it helps you understand uh, from your performance side to entire customer user experience you are optimizing it right so you're firstly starting with the speed of the website, whether my website is loading up properly, then you're moving to understand SEO related issues so that uh, discoverability is ensured. Then you're moving on to the customer engagement or customer experience side. And that's where you're using Google Analytics, uh, Microsoft Clarity and Hotjar to understand how the user experience is. And if there are any gaps uh, or bottlenecks, you are working on fixing them, right? So that is about optimization. Moving on to engaging. Now, this is uh, where we'll understand about few tools which you can use uh, to make uh, your website more engaging. We'll start with uh, basic, and you can see on the screen, there are a bunch of tools that I've listed here, but we'll start with basic because basic is something which a uh, lot of people miss out. Unfortunately, a lot of people start uh, uh, and they, unfortunately have this understanding like if i have a provision for a chat on my website uh, my website will be more engaging understand 
realistically no one comes to a website to chat right so chat is uh, sort of uh, where you are not able to get what you are wanting or you are stuck somewhere that is uh, a recourse that you take you're going to a website and if 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 it is a e-commerce website you you have an intention or if you, even if it is not an e-commerce website uh, you are going to that website uh, with an intention to either to get certain information or to understand whether they have uh, the product or service that you're looking at and in case they have you want to connect with them right so that is essentially what you are trying to do when you are engaging with a website now the big problem that people overlook is that the core intention or the core purpose why people are visiting itself gets overlooked all right so i am getting feeling that i am confusing you so let me uh, reword what i am trying to say that understand uh, when people are coming to your website they have a purpose you have to firstly ensure that that purpose itself is met for example you are in natural beauty product for example so if a customer is coming they are looking for certain product are they able to find that product you have to ensure that it is your responsibility if they are going through your navigation they are able to see the right product your right products are getting displayed so you have to ensure that is happening so that right customer experience or their objective is getting met if they are coming to your store and they are wanting to buy and if they are going without buying that is a, a loss of business as well as uh, there's something wrong with uh, the store itself why they were not able to buy either you are not able to share the information uh, in the right manner or there was something wrong in your presentation or you didn't share the right information there there may be many things but you have to fix that now uh, the first point that you can see here uh, search history and tag is something which i've added here it is uh, not a online tool it is a tool which is available on your website on your digital catalog on global linker and it is a search history tool so you can uh, <clears throat> on the seller panel you can go to search history a lot of businesses overlook this and uh, that's where you will find the entire search history what people came and searched right when you have that search history go and try searching yourself is the correct result getting displayed if the correct result is getting displayed well and good if it is not getting displayed you have to fix that right so if person was looking for printer and you are showing keyboard or mouse or a tablet or mobile phone that is not the right customer experience it will not give you sales right it will not get you sales so that's where you have to use tags to manipulate the search right so that the right products are getting displayed because search understand it is basically an algorithm with uh, certain rules so uh, if you're searching xyz so any product that has xyz it will show them now it does not matter the person was looking for a printer or uh, they were looking for a keyboard right it does not matter it is working on set of rules now again you can override those using the tags again it is a tool available on your seller panel so you can use them it is very important that uh, you are ensuring that when people are coming to your website microsoft clarity and hotjar certainly helps in that aspect so that's why they are also listed here down below but uh, you start with the search history so that because inherently it has become sort of a uh, muscle memory for us that whenever we are going to your website and within first few seconds if we are not able to find the uh, product or something which we are looking at what do we do we start searching right and if people are searching and they are not seeing the right product they will not place an order and you will have low conversion you'll have a loss of sale and those people may never come back also right so you have lost the customers for eternity as well so to fix that you should invest time on reviewing the search history and wherever required using tags to manipulate the search all right and obviously hotjar and microsoft clarity helps you have a view on customer engagement so that you can also understand or customers journey on your website how they are going from page to page to check out and what are the issues that they are facing where the pages are not loading properly where the visuals or graphics are not loading properly you'll get a clarity on that and you'll be able to fix those issues so that you have 
good convergence you have uh, your basics corrected all right now moving to chat so that's where uh, i have included a pl platform it is a free chat uh, which you can integrate onto your website talk.to it is free that you can use uh, it also has a paid version where you can also use ai so if you want to use ai uh, for chat uh, you can do that then you have facebook messenger it is again very uh, simple and easy and facebook messenger especially uh, is preferred by small businesses because you don't have to have someone sit uh, on the desktop and monitor the chat Facebook Messenger is uh, on your smartphone and you can start responding to the customers very easily using your smartphone as well. So those are the two chat tools you can consider using on your digital catalog. And then we have offers. So for offers, uh, I'll start from the bottom. That's where uh, you have uh, discount coupons, which you can create. Now discount coupon, you might be wondering how does it helps in being engaging. So discount coupon can be displayed on the banners on your website that uh, use this, this coupon and get sales. So when people are coming to your website, they have one more reason to place an order, right? So they were looking for the product. Now you have given them one more reason to place the order that they can get it on a discount, right? So discount coupon is something then you have another tool, which is schemes, which is sort of the autonomous tool. So buy one, get one free. If you want to uh, run those kind of comp uh, campaign or place order worth this value and you'll get a, a mixer juicer grinder free, those kind of campaigns, if you want to run, you can also run using uh, schemes and you can share with the audience or the people who are coming to your website using banners now on top of banners you can also use a tool which is get site kit now get site kit uh, has number of uh, tools it in its uh, kitty uh, one of the tool is a band which you can put on the top of your website and you can display right uh, welcome to our website uh, share your email id here and get uh, a discount code for uh, uh, purchase on your first order so that's where you are uh, capturing their email id or let me explain that so imagine 100 people came to your website 10 of them placed order now 90 of them went away and you don't know who they are now if you are uh, uh, giving them or showing them this option that uh, hey if you share your email id i'll give you a discount coupon some of them I am not saying all of them will be tempted. Some of them, uh, let's say 25 of them were tempted and they shared their email ID and uh, now you have their their email ID. Now, whenever in future you are running a new campaign, you are launching a new product or there is something happening, you are sending a newsletter, you can approach them uh, using the email ID. And because now you have given them a discount coupon, they have uh, one more reason to place an order. So that is Get Site Kit. Uh, so using this Get Site Kit, you can uh, display a pop up on your website or you can uh, display a band so very uh, simple easy and a very versatile tool which you can use so that is about offers then you have uh, social proof uh, like a um, good website they have good product working perfectly everything is in order but uh, people have this uh, concern or uh, this anxiety that uh, how do you trust a particular business right so and unfortunately there are there have been so many instances of fraud that uh, it is difficult for people to trust. Uh, so that's where uh, you can uh, use these tools. So the most important one is product review. So you should request your customers who have placed an order to write a review and you should also add testimonials on your website. Now, in addition to that, uh, curator.io is something which allows you to link your social platforms with your website. So for example, if you have an Instagram account, you can link that. So all the posts on from your Instagram account will start appearing on your website. So that is curator.io and then you have trust reviews. So if you have uh, reviews and as uh, many of the participants suggested that you have Google My uh, Business listing and that's where you will have reviews. So you should also display those reviews on your website people will feel more confident uh, review, seeing those reviews uh, while they are proceeding, uh, proceeding right, to place an order. All right. So these are the engaging tools. Let's uh, have a look at these tools as well. So we will switch our tab and let's look at the engaging tools. So there are a few tools. Uh, so Hotjar is something that we have already seen. And uh, this is Microsoft Clarity. Uh, this is uh, talk.to. This is a, a free chat uh, solution which is available. It is very easy to embed or link onto your website. Then you have SiteKit. Again, uh, these 
tools don't require any coding to be done. Uh, they work with uh, Google Tag Manager and Google Tag Manager is again very easy to integrate uh, with your website on Global Linker with uh, your digital catalog on Global Linker. Then you have SiteKit. Again, uh, using SiteKit, you can have uh, like the, the spin tool or you can have uh, a uh, pop-up coming onto your website or you can have a top band. So there are many tools which are available, which you can consider using. This is curator.io. So this will allow you to uh, link it with your social media account. And then this is uh, Trust Reviews, which allows you to link your Google reviews or show your Google reviews on your website. And again, they are uh, not requiring any technical integration work with Google Tag Manager. All right. So these were a few tools for engaging. Now let's move on and to the uh, last aspect that is marketing. So this is uh, where, again, I have not gone uh, full blown because this is where, uh, uh, I mean, there is absolutely no limit to the amount of uh, tools which are available. So I've just uh, tried to include a few uh, which as business owners are trying to run their businesses or grow their business daily, you'll have a need. So the first one is related to marketing. Now, if, whether you're doing outbound marketing or if you're just uh, doing uh, inbound marketing, inbound marketing means you're sending uh, uh, newsletters or emails to your existing customer or your registered customer base. You can use these tools, MailChimp, uh, MailerLite or Sender. So they, they have their free as well as paid version. So free version can be used to certain level or certain limit. So you can use them for uh, email marketing. Then you have social media. So social media, we have already seen designer.microsoft, Canva, and ChatGPT can be used uh, together for creating wonderful content for your social media channel. Now, traditionally, if you were thinking of uh, managing social media profiles, the first thing, and correct me if I'm wrong, the first thing that comes to your mind is that I have to hire a person to manage social media because creating the content, creating the entire calendar, everything is kind of a task, right? You'll agree. But now with these tools, you can do all of that in matter of minutes, right? So you can ask ChatGPT. It will create the entire social media calendar for you for in matter of minutes. And once you have the calendar ready, you can give it to designer to Microsoft. It will create uh, visuals for you. And then you have to do posts. And that's where, again, there are a number of tools which you can use like later to uh, plan out everything and schedule everything and it will keep posting, right? So uh, these days, uh, managing, especially with the AI tools is very, very simple and very easy, right? So you don't have to worry on to that. And last uh, thing which I've included here is affiliate. This is uh, a relatively not so explored area. Now, uh, during uh, the pandemic, uh, Obviously, all of us had certain realization, but uh, one realization uh, which was there, especially amongst the salary employees, uh, was that one income source is not enough. You have to have multiple income sources. And that's where people started exploring and there are, there are a bunch of things people are doing. So uh, we are not going there, but coming back to this particular point around affiliate, so when it comes to affiliate marketing, uh, typically people uh, perceive that I have to work with a digital influencer and digital influencers, especially with Google uh, good following and genuine following are, are quite expensive. So if uh, that becomes kind of out of bound and out of reach, if you don't have like a very large budget uh, in your marketing, but you can turn that around and we have seen businesses doing it very effectively. Now, instead of uh, going uh, behind influencers, you can go behind uh, any common person who's interested to uh, uh, make a separate earning. So, for example, there are women in certain uh, uh, societies or sectors uh, that have very good connections. So they can become your affiliates and they can uh, promote uh, your website, your products, your services to uh, all the uh, individuals or uh, residents of uh, that particular societies or sectors. And uh, uh, when people are coming using their referral links to your website, you are getting orders and they are uh, getting a small commission on that, right? So it's a win-win for both of you. So a very uh, 
powerful and inexpensive, right? So this uh, Go Afro is uh, free. Uh, obviously, there's a pro version, but the free version uh, serves the entire purpose, right? So pro version has a lot more uh, other features which are typically used by larger brands. But uh, as a business owner, uh, whatever you need to run affiliate marketing campaigns, uh, this platform has, and it is absolutely free uh, to use or you have the required features uh, that you'd need to run those kind of marketing campaigns. All right, so I will uh, now switch uh, the window and take you to the marketing. So let's uh, see the marketing tools. So here we have the email tools like MailChimp, uh, which is a very old and one of the oldest uh, email marketing tool. Then we have uh, MailerLite and then we have Sender. It used to be Send Plus earlier. Now it has uh, become Sender. So uh, these are a few email tools that you can consider. Again, all of them has uh, a freemium model. So certain things is available free and then you have a paid version. Then you have designer.microsoft. We have already seen that. And then you have Canva and then you have ChatGPT and you have affiliate marketing, which is Go App Pro. So if you have a website on Global Inker, it also has a direct integration with Go App Pro. So all the sales which are happening through the affiliate links, all those gets captured and you can specify the percentage of uh, commission each affiliate will earn on each purchase. So all that calculation, how much is the payout for the affiliate, all that is done by the platform itself. So you have to just set it up, hire the affiliates and everything else is managed by the platform itself right so i'll strongly recommend you should uh, also consider uh, this channel it is a relatively inexpensive channel like word of mouth is one of the most powerful uh, marketing available or has been one of the most powerful ever and this by using this tool you'll be able to do that uh, and again at relatively no cost all right so this is where uh, we have uh, covered all the four sections uh, in uh, our discussion or in our presentation today. So this is where we'll break into the question answer round. Thank you for attending the webinar. So I'll stop the screen share and uh, now we'll break into the question answer round. So I can see there are two questions in Q&A. And there are more questions, you can add them. Uh, I can see there's one, there was one question uh, uh, from uh, Mr. Meher. Wanted to understand if there is a tool uh, for uh, evaluating plagiarism. You can use Quellbot also. Quellbot also has a plagiarism checker or uh, undetectable AI is there. Again, it has a, a capability to detect AI created content and also plagiarism. So you can use undetectable AI as well. Uh, next uh, question from Mr. Nishant, uh, and he wants to understand if will the recording of this webinar will be available for future reference. Yes, certainly all of you will get the recording of uh, the webinar. So on the email ID that you have used to join uh, today's uh, session, you'll get uh, the recording uh, on the email ID. Uh, next question around the same line, where will we find the recording? So it will be emailed to you, or if you want to access it access it right away you can go to our youtube channel uh, or go to youtube and search for global inker and that's where you'll find uh, the recording next question from uh, mr anarud so anarud uh, these tools are uh, very easy to use there's ton of content available uh, on the internet if you uh, search uh, uh, on how to use these tools so you'll be able to do that or you can just go to our youtube channel i've personally explained uh, how to use uh, these tools in the previous webinar so there uh, you'll find recording and you can review and understand and still if you're getting stuck uh, you can reach out to me and i will guide you on how to use them and grow your business digitally uh 
Next question, Avni, all these tools which I mentioned, are these free? Of course, yes. So all of them are free. Some of them have a premium model, right? So for example, Canva, so it has a free and a pro version. So, but the free version also suffices uh, the requirement of uh, a typical business. So if you have those kind of higher requirements, then you can certainly subscribe to the paid version, but the free will suffice your requirements. So all the tools that uh, are suggested here, they are all free. So they have premium obviously they have to also make money for the, themselves so they have their pro versions but their free versions also work well or suffice the requirement again the same question from mr shankar yes these tools are free Uh, next question uh, from Mr. Sanjay around LinkedIn. So, uh, Mr. Sanjay, I'm not very familiar with uh, the analytics they are providing. So, uh, probably in uh, the next webinar, we can cover that. So, let me also do some research and then I'll be able to provide you input. Uh, next question is uh, not very clear from Mr. Ashwini. Is there any AI tool for user interview? Uh, and this is not clear. So you want to take uh, your customer's interview or want to take their review. Uh, so that is uh, not very clear. Uh, if you can elaborate on the question or uh, you can drop me an email and uh, uh, with your question, uh, with more details of your question, then I'll be able to provide you a response. Uh, next question, uh, mention the tools again. So you'll get the uh, links of all the tools. So you'll get the presentation. Uh, you'll get the recording of this webinar. You will get uh, the presentation which I've used uh, in today's webinar. And uh, uh, all these tools are hyperlinked in the presentation. So you'll uh, get all the tools. Don't worry on that. Next uh, question I can read is from Mr. Haridas. Uh, wants to understand how to increase followers on Instagram. So uh, consistency is uh, one of the key. Uh, so understand your niche uh, and consistency uh, in terms of content that you're adding. And uh, if you're a business, so I'm not sure uh, what line of business you are, but if you're a business, then you should also consider creating backlinks. So any post uh, that you're doing on Instagram or Facebook should have a link to uh, uh, one of the pages on your website so that uh, if you are doing a post every day, so by the end of the year, you will have 365 backlinks uh, for your website and that will help with the search engine optimization. Which of the following tools are not free to use? So that's where I clarified uh, the tools which I have recommended. They are all free, but many of them have premium versions. For example, Canva. Basic is free forever, but they also have a pro version. So pro is they have added features and you have access to more content. Similarly, like MailChimp. So 2,000 contacts, you can send an email for free. Beyond 2,000 contacts, you'll have to upgrade to a higher plan. So many of them also have that. Next question from uh, Mr. Nishant, where uh, you can modify existing images. So uh, you want to use the existing and you want to make them better uh, in terms of like look and feel. So uh, the, there was a pixel cut image uh, uh, which, I, which I had included in the presentation. So you can use that for enhancing it or you can use uh, uh, design.microsoft and give it the image and it will create uh, another uh, better looking uh, graphic for you. Next question from Mr. Sriram R uh, to uh, about integration of uh, WhatsApp. So Mr. Sriram, this is where you have to understand uh, uh, 
when it comes to integration api integration as where you uh, go into the domain of uh, whatsapp business now if you have to use whatsapp business apis that's where you have to work with one of the partners of whatsapp so for example haptic happens to be one of the partners of the geo whatsapp partnership in india so you have to uh, use uh, uh, them to link uh, uh, to get whatsapp business account and then link it with your website uh, so that's how you have to go about it now we have evaluated uh, the entire thing uh, and uh, what we have uh, realized or what have been our understanding is that at the moment uh, considering the pricing which uh, structure which is there uh, for a small business for for a micro business or for a, a startup uh, spending that kind of money on just informing the customer that hey we have received your order or we have shipped your order is uh, quite a lot and msmes typically won't be able to afford that so we have done fair amount of research and work on that and if you if your customer wants to communicate with you your website already has that feature so they can click on whatsapp and they'll be able to communicate with you all right so i hope uh, i've answered that question in future if prices come down certainly that can be integrated and made uh, available as a solution Next question, what is a backlink? So backlink is basically a link which is available on other website other than your website of a page of your website. So if you're doing a social media post about a product or service, and then you're adding one of the link of your page of the product page or any other page, and then you're linking it, that's where it will create the backlink. Uh, next question uh, from Mr. Vikas, uh, for Meta, uh, how long does it take? So it is a one-time effort that you have to put, uh, but you may consider reviewing it, uh, considering the search engine optimization performance, right? So you have created the Meta information today, and then uh, probably after six months, you should review it, and you will find gaps. You will find uh, areas where uh, you will see that uh, there is a scope of improvement. I can make it better. I can consider including uh, these keywords into that, right? So it is not like something you have to do every day, but uh, it is recommended that at least uh, once in a year or once every six months, you should review them. Uh, and you should also not change them every now and then. Otherwise, it will negatively impact uh, the performance on search engine. But uh, you should review them uh, and see if uh, they can be improved. Uh, next question from uh, Mr. Kedar. Mr. Kedar, I will request if you can drop me an email uh, elaborating your requirement. I will be able to uh, share a suggestion on that. So I'm going to share with uh, you all my contact details. So I'm just adding my contact details in the chat. So uh, please do feel free to drop me an email and I will provide a response. So firstly, let me uh, share it with... Uh, and I'm also sharing it with everyone. Right. Uh, Next question from Mr. Sanjay. Is there a tool uh, which can update the images already updated on our website? No, uh, there's uh, no tool uh, as such available. Uh, in future, yes, certainly, I think there's a possibility there will be tools. Uh, Google is already working on something on the similar lines and it will be available in future, but uh, not at the moment.
Uh, next question is from uh, Harsh Agrawal. And uh, Harshi, uh, it seems that uh, you are into uh, uh, YouTube videos. Uh, well, that's where that is a very uh, specific word that you have used, copyright strike. So uh, yes, if you're using uh, uh, visuals from uh, models or paid images uh, from the internet and you are using them on a website, yes, certainly it will lead to copyright. But uh, what uh, uh, I wanted to share with you is that uh, the visuals which are created by AI, they don't come under this copyright because they are created by artificial intelligence. So you can certainly use them on uh, your website without this worry. Uh, next question from uh, Mr. Vikash. Uh, so Meta, you mean uh, the Facebook Meta or uh, you mean the Meta content that you're adding on your website? If it is the Meta content on your website, you can easily recreate the correct content and update it. On uh, your Meta, uh, you'll have a business account where you can, on the Facebook Meta I'm referring to, that's where you have the uh, business account and that's where you can go and you can do the uh, rectification. Now, if you want to understand uh, the correct uh, customer profile, that's where again you can use ChatGPT. If you ask it to uh, define the customer profile, it will do that. In fact, it is one of the prompt uh, of the uh, keywords everywhere. Next question, uh, very interesting question, this is from Mr. Nishant, and uh, he wants to understand uh, uh, how important it is to uh, uh, have a website in multiple languages. Now, because uh, uh, the translation has become so effective that uh, you don't essentially need to translate uh, or have the website in multiple languages, users can do that on the fly, right? So if there's a Hindi website and you can go to a lot of Hindi publications, news uh, uh, websites, and they have the content in Hindi, you can click on a button, you can convert it into English, right? So uh, because of that, it is uh, not important or it is not uh, uh, crucial to have that content in uh, multiple languages. However, there are certain geographies where uh, uh, English is not that prevalent. So that's where it is important that if you're dealing with a domestic buyer, that's where you need to have uh, the website in that language. But if you're uh, considering for international, uh, just having it in English, uh, works if uh, the other person wants to review the content in their own language they can easily use the uh, google translation it is available on all the websites on chrome browser it is a free feature which is available all right perfect so that was the last question that i saw in the chat so thank you uh, everyone uh, we have overshot our time by 15 minutes uh, uh, I can see there's a question in the chat, Angelo. I'll just try to answer that. Uh, so is there a tool uh, to know where my website was open? Yes, certainly Google Analytics is the tool that lets you know that. So Google Analytics is very powerful. It lets you know uh, from where the person came, what was uh, not even, uh, uh, you'll be able to see the city as well, right? So forget about the country, which city the person came from, uh, where they are located, you'll be able to see that as well. And then which page did they go? How much time did they spend? All that is available in Google Analytics. So that uh, can be used. All right. So uh, thank you everyone for uh, taking our time and participating in the session. I hope uh, you found this session informative and uh, I look forward to again meeting you in uh, the future sessions uh, that we keep on doing regularly on uh, the Global Linker platform. So thank you once again. Have a wonderful evening ahead. Bye-bye from our side for now.